Uncertainty about the state of the New York State budget means a deal for a new Bill Stadium isn't done just yet. Good evening, I'm Febin Kasahoon. It has been four days since state, county, and team leaders announced a plan to keep this Bill Stadium in western New York for at least the next 30 years. But that comes with a heavy price, and the deal is still not officially done. The deal is worth an estimated $1.4 billion. The Pagulas will cover $550 million. That includes a $200 million loan from the NFL. Erie County is picking up a quarter billion dollars, and the state has agreed to pay for the rest. That's $600 million. The governor wants this to be part of the state budget, but lawmakers are now almost 24 hours late in passing a budget. 7 News' Natalie Fahmy reports on the details that are still being worked out. Budget negotiations are tied up in Albany. The deal for a new Bill Stadium appears to be a sticking point. Assembly member Angelo Morinello says it's upstate versus downstate. We just cannot keep the state divided, upstate and downstate. Everyone has to have an open mind towards what is happening. Morinello says passing the budget with money for the Bill Stadium will be good for the entire state. We have to focus away from the initial investment amount and go to the positives, tax base, employment, vendors, sales tax, other other utilizations for the building. State Senator Jabari Brisport does not think the state should pay for the stadium. This is a, a bad deal for New York. This is a stadium which the, uh, the billionaire owners could pay for out of pocket. $600 million out of, out of a $220 billion budget. So when you look at it, it's municipal. Brisport says if the state does pay, they should get more out of the deal. So he is proposing an alternative which would say that if the New York State is paying for more than half of the new stadium, then we should have the option to purchase more than half of the ownership of the team. Bruce Ford says he thinks the stadium money should go to things like child care, health insurance, and education. In many of these fields, the governor is figuring out ways to, to cut corners and say that, you know, we cannot find the money for this. This venue would be used 300 days a year, much more than just on game day. It was a total economic development driver for our area. If the stadium deal is not approved, it could take months for it to get passed. Both Senator Burstport and Assemblyman Morinello say they hope they can get something passed in the budget. Live from the newsroom, Natalie Fami, 7 News.